The dedicated team at Anne Arundel County Water Reclamation Facility is ready to perform a job that most people would call a really dirty job. This maintenance procedure is required to prevent the pumps from seizing up. Why is a team now doing this procedure three or four times a week? The answer is because what the workers call rags, or items like personal cleansing wipes, mani wipes, or diaper wipes that clog the pumps along the route of the sewage collection system on its way to our treatment facilities. There are over 127,000 connections to our sewer system. Wipes are advertised as flushable, which means that they will go down the drain. The problem is that they don't dissolve quickly, and sometimes not at all. They don't break down easily like toilet paper does and can get caught up in other things like fats, oils, and grease, and just about anything that can be flushed down the drain binds together. Let's compare how quickly these items break down in water. The toilet paper breaks down quickly, but the personal wipes don't break down at all. The result is nasty sewer clogs, backups, and pump failures as the wipes clog equipment along the way to the water reclamation facility and can even cause untreated sewage to back up into streets, waterways, beaches, or even your home. This costs money for the county and homeowners for maintenance and cleanup. As a team prepares to check for blockage in their pumps and the pump flange is open, they will pull the blockage out using tools rather than their hands for safety. When there is a blockage, everything can become part of one mess, including things like sharps that could cut anyone's hands very easily. If you must use wipes, be sure to dispose of them in the trash can, not down the drain. Remember, only three things should be flushed down the toilet. Number one, number two, and toilet paper.